Welcome to my channel, detailing events throughout the decades. 2008. The Boys in Red Tragedy Across Canada, school children are usually transported to places by the iconic Big Yellow School Bus, which is said to be built like a tank, and is very robust. Flashing lights inform other drivers when not to pass, which drivers obey. However, these buses are very expensive to run, and it is often necessary to use other vehicles to transport children to and from extracurricular activities. It was just after midnight on January 12, on New Brunswick Route 9, when the tragedy took place. The team coach was driving the Bathurst High School basketball team back from a game in Moncton. The evening in question was hampered by freezing rain and low visibility and slippery driving conditions. The vehicle came to the Bathurst city limits, when the team coach lost control and veered in front of a southbound semi-trailer truck. The truck collided with the side of the vehicle, and both vehicles came to rest on the shoulder of the southbound lane of the highway, just 130 feet from the point of impact. Parents were gathering ready to collect their children returning from the game. When midnight came and went, parents grew increasingly anxious. Eventually a police car pulled up and the officer had the grim task of informing them about the accident. Police on scene initially thought that only the semi-trailer truck had gone off the road, but on further inspection, they found the other vehicle, and emergency services were quickly called. However, the emergency services arrival was delayed due to the freezing rain and dangerous driving conditions. The rear section and a large portion of the right-hand side of the team's vehicle, which included three rows of seats, had been ripped away. Several of those inside had been ejected on impact. The team coach, his daughter, and two other players were quickly taken to hospital in Bathurst. One of those injured was in a critical condition. Sadly, seven of the players, and the wife of the team coach was pronounced dead at the scene. The community of Bathurst were left in a state of shock at what had happened. The Prime Minister of Canada, Stephen Harper said the accident had shocked the whole nation, and declared a day of mourning. Services were held across the country, with some schools asking their students to wear red and black, which were the colors of Bathurst High School. The funerals of the seven victims were held in Bathurst, with more than 6,000 people attending. Another 3,500 mourners filled the adjacent rink of the KC Iring Regional Center to watch the service take place on a widescreen television. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police and Transport Canada conducted an investigation into the crash. The report was not released until July 2008. The report indicated that the team's vehicle would not have passed a safety inspection at the time of the accident, due to the rust on its body, the worn all-season tires and faulty brakes. However, none of these were identified as the sole cause for the accident that night, but may have contributed towards its the vehicle at the time was reported to have been traveling at only 45 miles per hour, so speed was not a factor in the crash. The report concluded that weather conditions had played a factor in the crash, as well as possible driver fatigue and driver error. The coach had been on duty for 16 hours when the collision happened. It was also found that six of those who had died in the crash had not been wearing seat belts at the time of impact with the seventh person also not properly restrained. After the accident, New Brunswick immediately halted the use of 15 passenger vehicles and put recommendations in place. As of November 2008, it is now mandatory that all vehicle operators, who intend to use their vehicles for students to be covered by a third-party liability and accident benefit policy. On November 12, 2008, Criminal charges were ruled out in relation to the accident. A memorial for the victims of the crash was unveiled on June 6, 2008, at Bathurst High School. A temporary memorial at the crash site was also erected, and remains there even today. Forever remembering all those who died on that fateful night. May your memory live on. Thank you for watching and learning about these events throughout history. Please subscribe to my channel to view other events throughout the decades.